I am so excited. I have always wanted one of these. You sure you just want to trade it for that mini bike? Oh yeah, I'm tired of walking. My dogs are killing me. Well, what happened to your car? Well, I'll give you a hint. It rhymes with, put your hands behind your back. Oh, well, all right then. Uh, you want to test drive it or anything first? No, I know you're an honest guy. It's looks just fine. Okay then. You have fun with them guns. I mean, uh, good. Oh, God. It's two 1911s duct taped together. Bob! Uh, who am I kidding? I should have learned by now. Man, that mini bike is fast. What's up everybody? My name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. And today I am very excited because I have a handgun that I've wanted to try out for the last eight years. This is an APF 2011 Dueler. I remember seeing these on Hickok 45 and Jerry Michelick. I have always wanted to shoot one of these and today we finally have one. If you're wondering what this is, it is basically two 1911s in one. You have two barrels, which these are compensated, and you have the ports on the top here. This thing is very thick, and you have two hammers, you have two triggers, and you have two magazines, but it's actually one mag. This is all one piece. So seven rounds in each mag for a total of 14 rounds of 45 ACP. I'm telling you, if your grandpappy saw this gun, he'd poop his diaper. I am very excited to try this thing out, so let's get started. So the first thing that I wanna find out with this 2011 Dueler is where is my bullet impact? I have two barrels, so are they both gonna hit in the same spot? or are they gonna be very spread apart? So we're gonna find out by taking two shots at that piece of cardboard over there. We are 20 yards back, and I have four rounds of 45 ACP. These are 230 grain full metal jackets. So you got one of those in each barrel for a combined weight, 2,487 grains or something like that. It's a lot. Okay, I have never shot this before. This is literally my first shot. Let's see if it even chambers. Oh, that is thick. You just got jammed. <laughs> oh, they're both in there. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Second shot. Not gonna lie, for just a second, I thought this video was gonna be uh, very short lived. <laughs> so, okay, at 20 yards, that's not bad. We've got just side by side here, that's maybe two inches. And then over here, that's a little more. That's about, I don't know, three and a half inches. But still fairly close to each other at 20 yards. So after those first few shots, it raises the question, is the 2011 Dueler a Jam-O-Matic? We're going to find out. I have a total of 14 rounds. Let's see if we can make it through every single one without a jam. I'm doubtful. Let's see. You just got jammed. Ah. Nope. Oh. Okay. Here we go.
was so close. So I have a silly question. This is a chronograph. This magical device measures the speed of bullets and also doubles as a walkie talkie. My question is, since I have two barrels, will it give me two readings? There's only one way to find out. Well, uh, I guess we may never find out. Also, I had a jam. So the advantage of having a double barrel 1911 is double the damage because everyone knows that 45 ACP hits like a Mack truck. So now I have a 16 inch block of clear ballistic gel made by Clear Ballistics. We're gonna see what happens when we hit this thing with two rounds of 45 ACP at the same time. So for this test, I have some Underwood ammo. These are 45 ACP, 230 grain plus P. Uh, okay, here we go. Oh. <laughs> well, when you're this close, it looks like it almost is the same hole. We've got two holes right there and then two wound channels. One went a lot deeper. Sorry about that. I don't know what came over me. Up next, we're gonna shoot some pineapples. Watermelon kind of tastes funny. Okay, here we go. Gonna go with the pineapple on the left first. Uh, I think we shot a little low. Huh. Well. I think those all hit kind of low. It's totally the gun and not me. You know what they say, if you can't hit it within the first three shots, just go point blank. No! <laughs> Right now, I have these limited edition three-year anniversary Ride the Lightning shirts. And if you want to check those out, you need to click the link in the description down below and swing over to KentuckyBallistics.com. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on awesome content. And make sure you hit that bell so you get notifications. Next, I have some very interesting targets that I'm a little late shooting. These were made for me by Ballistic Dummy Labs, and these are zombie Easter bunnies. They have neon bones and glitter blood, and I'm very excited to shoot these things. And, you know, I would consider this a fairly realistic scenario. I mean, the way things are going now wouldn't surprise me if we were attacked by 
little cute, adorable zombie rabbits. And how would your double barrel 1911 do at fending them off? All right, we didn't jam. Here we go, I'm gonna go with the little yellow guy first. Oh! I'm literally aiming over the top of this thing and still hitting low. So let's aim a lot higher. I think I hit it. We're not gonna take any chances on this next one. We're just gonna get real up close and personal. This is what you get for pooping in my kids' Easter baskets. <laughs> Uh, well, that guy did not explode like I thought he would. Part of me kind of feels bad about that, and then the other part of me thought that was absolutely hilarious. <laughs> So up next, I have some level 3A soft body armor, and that should eat a 45 ACP for breakfast. But will it be able to handle two 45 ACPs at the same time? Oh! That is the overwhelming power of the old 45 ACP. Okie dokie. Let's take a look at this body armor. We have two holes side by side. And on the back, we do not have an exit hole, but we do have quite a bit of a bulge. And uh, our volunteer here definitely felt that energy. I mean, he got hit with a 90 ACP. <laughs> Up next, we got some eggplant because nobody likes eggplant. Our next target is a five gallon water jug full of thousands and thousands of Orbeez. I've got 10 rounds of 45 ACP. Oh, okay. I thought that was gonna take a lot more shots. Well, I still got eight more rounds. So, I missed those last two shots. Let me explain why. Um, my front sight just came off the gun. Well, that is very unfortunate. I was having a lot of fun with this thing, but now I'm a little sad because I highly doubt I'm gonna be able to find my front sight in all of that grass. Let me know what you thought about the 2011 Dueler in the comment section down below. And while you're at it, be sure and give today's video a like and make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also be sure and check me out on all social media platforms and check out Kentucky Ballistics Clothing. Links to all those can be found in the description down below. And as always, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics.